a guide to freestyle skiing, brought to you by Toyota. Freestyle skiing gained momentum through the 80s and 90s. But Sochi 2014 was the first Olympic Games to feature all five current events for both genders. In the moguls events, athletes ski down a course full of tiny hills or moguls at knee-crushing speed while performing a series of jumps. However, the time makes up only 20% of their score. Panels of judges mark the execution and difficulty of the jumps and the quality of the skier's turns to make up the rest. Aerialists hit their jumps, or kickers, at 65 kilometers an hour, launching themselves up to 20 meters into the air to perform a series of twists and flips. Five judges mark competitors on takeoff, height of the jump, form of the skier in the air, and finally their landing to give a total score. Ski cross is all about speed, as heats of four skiers at a time race down a steep, winding course of banks, jumps, rollers and turns. The top two from each heat advance through a series of knockout rounds to the final. Halfpipe takes place in a slope channel of snow, from which competitors launch themselves skyward to perform a series of incredible tricks. Judges award scores out of 100, evaluating each run on its overall style, amplitude, difficulty and execution of the skills. Finally, in slope style, the skiers go down, through and over a course comprised of a series of rail and jump features, performing tricks throughout. As in halfpipe, they are judged out of 100 on amplitude, style diversity and difficulty of the tricks they perform. A Guide to Figure Skating, brought to you by Toyota. Olympic figure skating debuted at the London 1908 Summer Games. Now part of the Winter Games, the 2018 competition consists of men's and women's singles, pairs, ice dance, and a team event. In each of these disciplines, the skaters first perform a short program, with the lowest ranked competitors eliminated before the longer free skate. In all singles programs, skaters must perform a required number of jumping passes, spins, and step sequences within their time limit. Pairs are required to do the same with additional lifts, twists, throws, and even a death spiral thrown in for good measure. For each program, skaters are scored on both the execution of their jumps, spins, and footwork, as well as the performance, composition, and interpretation of their music, which are scored on a scale of 0.25 to 10.0. The highest and lowest scores from the nine judges are discarded, with the remaining scores averaged and added together for a total score. Totals from both the short programs and free skates are added together to determine the final results. In Ice Dance, the short program contains a compulsory pattern. In 2018, the rumble has been selected. But skaters can incorporate other Latin American rhythms, like the cha-cha, samba, or salsa. In Pyeongchang 2018, 10 countries, each comprised of one man, one woman, one pair, and one ice dance couple, will compete in a team event. Standings will be decided on aggregate placement points for each skater or couple. A Guide to Luge, brought to you by Toyota. Luge made its Olympic debut at Innsbruck, 1964. Athletes propel their sled from the start of the track using starting handles and spiked gloves. Once up to speed, they lie flat, cross their fingers for luck, and point their toes to create an aerodynamic profile. They hurtle down the track at up to 150 kilometers an hour and steer by shifting their weight or by pressing the runners with their feet. In singles competitions, the aim is to achieve the quickest cumulative time down the course over four runs. The men's course is slightly longer with a greater drop than the women's. And the doubles event is based on cumulative times over two runs. The team relay has taken place since Sochi 2014, comprised of one woman, followed by one man, and finally, one double sled. Athletes hit a touch pad to open the start gate for the team's next sled. Final results are based on the overall time for each team. A 
Guide to Para Ice Hockey, brought to you by Toyota. Debuting at Lillehammer 1994, Para Ice Hockey is said to have originated in Sweden in the 1960s. Players sit in double-bladed sledges that they propel with spiked sticks. The sticks are reversible with a blade edge for puck handling used to pass, stick handle and shoot. The rules are essentially the same as Olympic ice hockey. Two teams of six players, including the goalkeeper, try to score by shooting the puck into the opposing team's goal. Games last for three periods of 15 minutes. If the teams are tied at the end of the game, an extra period of play takes place in which the first goal wins. Since 94, four teams have won the tournament. Canada claiming one gold, one silver and two bronze medals. In Pyeongchang 2018, eight teams will compete in two pools of four before entering the playoffs. Teams then enter a knockout competition for the medals. A guide to para-alpine skiing, brought to you by Toyota. Para-alpine skiing evolved from the efforts of disabled Austrian and German veterans after the Second World War. Paralympic athletes are classified, according to their impairment, into three types of competition, standing, sitting, and visually impaired. Just like Olympic alpine skiing, para-alpine skiing is made up of four disciplines, downhill, slalom, giant slalom, and the super G and a fifth combined event. The downhill event is for the speed demons. Athletes aim to get down the mountain as fast as possible. The slalom events are for the master turners. Athletes pass through gates on their way down the mountain. Between the slalom and the super G, the gates get gradually further apart, making turns wider and the descent faster. In the combined competition, athletes compete in two chosen events. The first run is a downhill event, and the second is one of the slalom events. The winner of the combined competition has the fastest aggregate time across the two runs. 